charging. Welcome back everybody to this week's video of Expedition Adventure. On this week's video, we're gonna get our batteries installed. Hopefully we'll get most of our electronics installed and wire all the wires that are in here into uh, our panels. So let's get right to it. So we're going with lithium and what we're going with is uh, AO lithium, no affiliation whatsoever, but they had good reviews on a few people's YouTube channels. That's what we went with. We have three of these, which makes it like 15.3 something watt hours. Actually it would be 15.36 I believe, kilowatt hours. We might add a fourth if we see that we need it, but I think with the amount of solar we got, we should have enough, but we did account for another slot in our battery box, so we might just add it either way. But it's a 24 volt system. We are debating between going 24 volt or 48 and do a all-in-one system, which we did not go with. We went with all Victron products. The only thing we didn't do is go with the Servo GX for all that because the smart shunt is Bluetooth and if you got a tablet mounted on the wall that's good enough for 100% of people. It's just unnecessary to go with the Servo anymore. So we're gonna install these. They're quite heavy. They're 39 kilograms each. That's like 80 pounds. And we're gonna strap them with a strap across every battery. So some of you may say, well, you can't put your battery like that, like it's going to spill out. This isn't a typical lead filled battery. This is a lithium battery. You can put these batteries in whatever configuration you want to. You can put it upside down, right side up, sideways, whatever way you can possibly mount it. That's what this is and uh, reason for doing that, going with lithium, is there's much more usable power. I don't need a watch and only go to 50%. I can go to, just to save the battery from damage, you can go to like 10% without damaging the batteries. So this is why lithium is a little bit better because you actually do get your full rated amperage out of them. So this, what I'm using to strap it down is just an old strap that I didn't have a ratchet for and we just screwed them down. It's kind of crazy that this is all being held in by a bunch of screws but we're going to probably add another piece of wood kind of like right here and kind of right here just to give it some extra rigidity. I don't think it's ever going to come off but you know thinking and actually what will happen is much different. So let's get uh, a faceplate made and then we'll wire all these uh, batteries up uh, the way need, they need to be. So we are wiring these batteries. We bought some cable, which some of you are gonna be like, why would you go with one on? Because it was cheaper than number two. That's the only reason. We need to wire these in parallel. We'll put our boards on and then mount our inverter and everything like that on there. If you're wondering what we're going with, for an inverter is we didn't end up going all in one. We went with everything with Victron, except for we didn't go too fancy with it. 
Plus two, 24 volt, three, 3000 VA, and obviously um, Victron MPPT. We just, we didn't feel like messing around with having issues because electrical systems on board a truck like this is the most important. Maybe in the future, if uh, somebody will want to let us test their system as a secondary system, but the primary system is going to be Victron. up this is a four to eight circuit panel why it's called four to eight is if you get yourself the double breakers which is two breakers essentially in one slot that makes it eight circuits in here so we're gonna put this right right here probably You wouldn't typically install it this tight, but I'm trying to cram as much as possible on here. And I think I can make these guys, so these guys are gonna go in from the top, which there's two knockouts right here. We'll kind of run them back and then hop over and it'll look pretty clean. Um, the power will feed 
from here up over. It'll be nice and tidy then. And then we don't, we're not fighting for space. This takes up some space, which there's gonna be a lot of circuits running in. This is the 12 volt part. We've got our MPPT mounted. We need to mount our little Orion. We might add another, just to have two. Um, that way we're not fighting for power, one on each side. And then we'll have one feeding the constant and one feeding our switch panel right here. doing is we're running our neutral to the smart shunt and obviously we still need to shrink wrap everything this is just set up you get your cable lengths right I already messed up one of the one of these yeah I kind of want to get my cable lengths right here just set everything up how I want it and then after you go put heat shrink on it and tidy it up but where it'll start looking wild if you don't care is after you run all your cables. That's where everybody will start just saying screw it and how can you make this look good? But you can make everything look good. It's just a matter of patience. So this goes to the smart shunt. The smart shunt will meter how much battery you have used and how much is coming in. So everything goes from here to here, from here to over here, that which is the inverter for the smart shunt, and it meters everything. So from here, it'll go to here, and then from here to, to our 12 volt sources, just a small uh, 24 to 12, 20 amp, which should be sufficient. Our water pump is the biggest draw, which takes 7.5 amps at 12 volts. So that, and then all of our lights, probably combination, if we were to turn absolutely everything on that's inside outside including the toilet maybe we'll draw close to 19 amps which this is rated for but chances of everything on at the same time at max power pretty slim we just need to run everything nice and pretty much
So, what I just cut right there is the main power feed for the house. This is from the batteries. You gotta be really careful with this because if this shorts against the neutral, there's gonna be a great big boom because there's so much amperage that, it, that can flow through this without a fuse. So what we're doing here, we first have the fuse and disconnect on this side, which I moved it over here. It, it'll look much cleaner because from here, we'll have a line coming and going to this, but it's fusing all of this. Why I did not fuse these is because this, this is number two, copper. There's no need to fuse this because this is rated for enough to leave this unfused. And if you need to work on this, you, you just want, you're just gonna shut, shut down the system. It's, to me, it's a little funky because typically you don't want to work on live. So you would typically turn it off and then you can work on the fuse. So I don't know, most people do it this way, which to me is just odd. Okay, so we got most of the DC side all wired up. Um, we have our converter, so it goes from 24 volt to 12 volt. And then from there, it powers this. Um, we still have to hook up this fuse panel for two loads that are gonna be constant in DC um, at 12 volts. Just making sure I have my settings correct on the charge controller. We have our smart shunt all connected. Fuse, disconnect. All of this is covered. The only thing we need to run from here is gonna be one more line to this and then our AC side. So just seeing right here, the solar panels are bringing in 94, 95 volts. So let's flip on this uh, and connect to our batteries and see how we're doing. We're charging. So it's roughly 7 p.m. and it hasn't been the most sunny day today. But we're still bringing in uh, around 150 watts. And that being said, half the panels are not, they're completely in the shade. We're doing all right. So it's been quite the busy week. We got all this wrapped up or we're, we still have to do a little bit of tidying up in here. I think it already looks really good. We still have to make a board, of course, and connect the last little things. But the gist of it is done, where I took a course to be able to drive the truck, which is an air endorsement on the weekend. So we haven't been able to do anything on last weekend, but we managed to finish off the DC side of the electrical. Thanks again for watching everybody. Subscribe, comment, like, if you like this kind of content, that will really help us out. And uh, we'll see you next week.